there, my name is Kelly Dale with Off the Beaded Path, and this is your Must Know Monday for Monday, July 31st. So, we are in the hottest part of the year here in the southern United States, um, and I'm, as I'm sure a lot of other places are, and it is the prime time for people to be wearing anklets. You know, we don't have long pants on, we want to, sh you know, show off, so we have anklets, and um, a lot of people ask about anklets. Anklets are really, really easy to make, because basically, you're just making an extended bracelet. The average ankle size, the anklet, I should say, is nine inches. Now, you will have some that like them longer or smaller, but the average is nine inches. Basically, what you would do is you would take a uh, tape measure and measure around your um, ankle loosely where you normally like your anklets to hang. And then it's just a um an issue of stringing up the beads you want. So what I want to do today is I want to show you a lot of different options you have for um, anklets because they are so easy and they're a really great thing that depending on the beads you use, you can make them very affordably for um, you know shows or sales that you may do so that they're a quick sell item in the summer because a lot of people, if they're like at a craft fair, they buy an anklet, they're going to throw it on right then and just keep walking. So it's a really good quick sell item. So let me show you an array of ones that we have here in our store and that we have been very successful selling over the last so few years. So here is a display that my husband made and it's actually just um, a thick uh, cardboard type thing that we've cut and then put these little V shapes in it so that they're really great um, to display the anklets on and we put a little hole in here so we could hang it but basically we've taken and we've put in the we've put the name of the project um, with the anklet so you could do that as well if you had a display and you actually had named your pieces you could have you know these up here where people could see all the ones you would have but uh, you can see these top two. These are just on stretch cord here with a, um, a little uh, crimp on each side of it. Bugle beads are great, absolutely great for, um, for anklets because they use up a lot of space without having to use up but just a few beads here. And this is a 6 millimeter, a 4 millimeter, and a 3 millimeter bicone. And you can see that I've done a couple of colors of those. There's the Pacific Opal, a Crystal AB. Then I've done one called Pop of Color. And basically the Pop of Color is just a 6 millimeter bicone with a 4 millimeter on each side. And I've changed the 4 millimeter colors and just put a little size 11 seed bead and a bugle bead in to help take up some of that slack. Um, these are my favorites. I love, really, really love these. This is just a simple and dandy anklet. Um, you can see it's just got three millimeter bicones and then the 11s and the bugle beads. And we've done those in several colors over the last few years. Um, fun fire polish is just that. It's just six millimeter fire polish beads with a little silver bead in between. The thing you have to watch here is that you, um, you know, these silver beads will change over time. Um, so that's one thing that you have to watch when you put any sort of metal bead in an anklet. Um, this one has been a really good seller for us over the years. This is just um, six millimeter bicones in a rainbow of colors um, so that lots of people like to wear that one. And then you can also do something as simple as just dangling a little charm you know, in between the beads for just a really lightweight and easy I also anklet. wanted to show you the backs of some of these anklets. So most of my anklets, I use a little tiny lobster claw with a little ring. But on this one, I've put taken and put a little seahorse. And on this one, like a little sea turtle. Um, so as you can see there, you know, you don't have to just put a clasp on it. You can put a little charm on those as well. And it's... Um, you can also add extender chain a little bit, so if they want to make it a little bit longer, they can have it so longer anklets, as well. So, like I said, are really great and affordable pieces that are, will be quick sells for you at bead shows or craft shows or whatever. Most of our anklets we have kits for that we actually sell in our store. And I mean, like this one right here that has turquoise double AB crystals is nine bucks. Okay, so it's really, really affordable. A few things I do want to mention to you 
um, if you're going to make an anklet and you're going to use um, put it on beading wire, a 49 strand beading wire is going to be best because it's going to be really good and flexible and it's going to last. I would be sure and tell my customers though that they should not wear these in a pool or in the ocean and if they want to preserve the life of them and, and it's with any jewelry, they can store them in like a sealed Ziploc bag and that will help just prolong the life of the piece. Um, and like I said, I always tell the people about the beach water, you know, ocean water and pool because it will immediately turn the clasps to a different color. Um, it, it, it looks terrible. So I always try to tell people that. So there's just a quick, um, you know, simple pointers for you um, as we go from the summer into the fall season um, that, you know, for anklets. And uh, so I hope that you guys were able to learn a few, um, you know, simple design ideas for anklets. Um, you know, you don't always have to be big and flashy. You can use just a few beads and kind of go from there. So I hope you guys have a wonderful week. We'll see you again next time. Bye-bye.